Come and spend your autumn years in an Indian palace. This is the day. It's a luxury development where all the residents are in their golden years. Like the coast of Florida. Yeah, but with more elephants. The best exotic Marigold Hotel is a film about a disconnected group who don't know each other, um, who are at that time in their lives when people stop paying much attention to them. Would you like some of this? I believe it's called alu carparata. Now, if I can't pronounce it, I don't want to eat it. Um, they all find themselves, for one reason or another, in a, a difficult place, either through physical infirmity or lack of funds or bereavement or isolation. Dame Judi Dench plays Evelyn, a recent widow grappling with the uncertainties that come with facing her third act. She sees, like the others do, this advertisement saying, come and spend the autumn of your years in this hotel. And at that minute of her life, when she is widowed, thinks, I'm going to take a chance on this. Ah, there you are. Good as new. Really? No, of course not. <laughs> These seven people uh, colliding with modern India, the madness of modern India, and with one another, and coming out uh, very different at the other end of what they experience. Shakespeare and love director John Madden steered the ship of British actors. John's a natural leader and his natural kind of intelligence and enthusiasm holds it together. These are people he's worked with a fair number of times. He's so relaxed, he's so wonderful, he's so warm. So he makes you feel so special that you want to be associated with him. He's made some marvelous films and he's one of our foremost uh, uh, British film directors. In this particular case, it was quite a balancing act because it's not that common that you, you're working with nine or ten intertwined stories because the seven characters who go there, there's also the story of the hotel, the story of uh, the Dev Patel character, Sonny, um, who, who runs the hotel and his relationship with his mother and his girlfriend. So there's quite a lot going on. More, more particularly, I think there's a tonal and a rhythmical thing that is essential to kind of keep your mind on when you're making a film. Because all of these people are, you know, on a nodding acquaintance with mortality, there is a kind of melancholy that underlies the film, as well as, you know, a very robust kind of humor. We have a saying, everything will be all right in the end. So if it is not all right, it is not yet the end.